Dora I started in 2017. Last, so yeah, last year in March. So just uh, over a year. Uh, I started initially back in 2006 in Toronto. My like kind of uh, recommendation as a prerequisite would be is that you're at least you know somewhat a fairly confident cyclist like you're confident riding you know around the city because um, you do have to you know ride like you know amongst real traffic you can't really you can't really skirt around you know the busy streets or the arterials you're gonna find especially like trying to be you know somewhat prompt and on time you're gonna have to take you know busy streets it is not for everyone you know so like you might go into it and you might just feel too stressed out by all the traffic or dealing with other road users starting out you can expect I feel like it's easy to like hit 18 20 an hour if you do at least pick up kind of the more popular shift times like around lunch and dinner and then with experience as you get to know the roads you get to kind of know your routing in between neighborhoods and places you can get up there to 25 and once you become more seasoned in terms of like riding in all types of conditions wet or dry warm or cold and then it's easy to even get up to like 30 30 plus an hour i do this full time and i'm working you know almost any day at any time in a given week or month you know there's you know slow periods versus busy periods so if i can actually grab you know a good four hour shift during dinner then yeah i feel like i'll be at least averaging three orders an hour but then if i my schedule dictates that i can only pick up uh, a midday shift which is the slowest time especially like during the week like a one to four p.m then I might be yeah, only doing two or even one and a half orders an hour. Even as you become more, you know, experienced, more seasoned, you will still see a spread in your like hourly wage. Um, but you know, it still kind of all averages out in the end. So I feel like at least in the figures I was giving you, that kind of um, you will see a kind of a consistent pay in a weekly type basis, not really in a daily or hourly. But in the yeah, in the in the long run, it does average out over a week. So I like how Foodor is one of the few kind of food delivery companies that actually has shifts. Like DoorDash, Uber, just have like a sign on whenever you can, which then you know can work against you because then there's too many people working, and you know the nature of this type of job, it's usually you know piecework. So you make money based on the deliveries, the demand. So I like Foodor with like how they make shifts because at least they're trying to allocate you know shifts for the amount of people they need because Foodora has like so many different like shifts and that they operate also every day it works out for me that I can kind of allocate work with Foodora with my other job and then my other like just personal enjoyment <laughs> I love that I'm not kind of constricted to like a, a Monday to Friday type week you know because especially like you know living in like you know cities it's so easy to get like kind of entrenched in this monday to friday lifestyle and then like live for the weekend which i hate you know fudor as a company is like really understanding so you know if you have an issue like on the job like uh, some kind of mechanical failure or a personal like health emergency or even mental health emergency which they take seriously you know you're free to message them and they'll you know they'll take you off 